Saul enters a cave to pee. The Bible is about real people. This isn't the only story that involves a bathroom break. David and his men are keeping quiet, hidden in the back of the cave. One of David's men urges him to kill Saul. He says that the Lord has spoken about this very day, saying that he would give Saul into David's hands, and David could do to Saul as seemed good to him. I don't recall God saying that to David. Maybe he didn't. It's just not recorded. There are two points here. One, we need to not quote God if we're not quoting God. We need to be very careful speaking for the Lord, speaking as if we are speaking the very words of God. God's word has weight. God's word must be obeyed. We are putting a weight on people when we speak God's word to them. Two, we don't get to apply God's word to someone for them. We don't get to decide how God is speaking into someone's life. Paul was told by reliable prophets about being bound up if he went to Jerusalem. He and the others begged Paul not to go. The word was true, but they didn't get to decide. It meant that Paul shouldn't go to Jerusalem. Paul knew God's will and went. He was bound and arrested. It was God's plan for Paul's good and God's glory. God's will was fulfilled, and God's purposes for Paul were fulfilled. If we have a word from God, we need to hold our tongues and speak carefully. We can deliver the message, but no more. There are only two types of thoughts, God's thoughts and get-behind-me-Satan thoughts. When Jesus said that to Peter, he said that Peter was speaking the thoughts of man, not the devil. No difference. It wasn't from God. We need to stop thinking we know so much and keep our mouths closed. We need to stay humble and not think we know what God is doing. Like that David should kill Saul because God brought him to him. We need to know God and his will for us so that, like David, we can act righteously and respond to conviction.